हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूर यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजेस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस नेगेटिव टेम्परेचर लेट्स एगेन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ नेगेटिव टेम्परेचर कैन इजीली अंडरस्टूड बाय टेकिंग द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर एंट्रोपी ऑफ टू एनर्जी लेवल सिस्टम वी नो the expression for entropy of two energy level system s is equal to माइनस एन के इन दैट ऑफ ब्राकेट माइनस लॉग टू प्लस हाफ ई डिवाइडेड बाय इफ्साइल इनटू एन होल स्क्वायर दैट वन In the expression of entropy of two energy level system, we have already discussed in the previous video. From that of expression, <coughs> if that negative sign is multiplied within that of bracket, it will be n k log two. माइनस हाफ ए डिवाइडेड बाय इफ्साइल इंटू एन होल स्क्वायर और एस डिवाइडेड बाय एन के इज इक्वल टू लॉग टू माइनस हाफ ए डिवाइडेड बाय इफ्साइल एन होल स्क्वायर Now, by taking that equation, we can plot a graph in between s divided by n k and e divided by epsilon n. S divided by n k that uh, relates to the entropy. E divided by epsilon n that relates to the expression of energy. The graph in between entropy and energy. If we plot a graph between s by n k and e divided by epsilon n, s by n k and e divided by epsilon n, so it is. A parabola, and that graph is looking like minus one to plus one. x axis we take e by epsilon n and in y axis we take s divided by nk so the graph just like a parabola look here a condition In that equation number one, when the magnetic moment is equal to zero, there will be no such magnetic moment. By applying that uh, 
external magnetic field the atoms are oriented to its magnetic field either in parallel way or in anti parallel way if uh, magnetic moment is zero then the change in the number of particles between the energy levels will be zero as we consider a two energy level systems this is uh, a two energy level systems energy associated minus epsilon plus epsilon number of particles n1 number of particles n2 is the ground state that one is the excited state lower energy level higher energy level change in energy to epsilon when magnetic moment mu is equal to 0 means n is equal to 0 therefore equation 1 becomes that second term will be 0 as it relates to that of nrc so s by nk s by nk is equal to log 2 so the entropy will be nk log 2 as we know in a thermodynamic system the temperature is defined as the reciprocal of the slope of energy versus energy according to thermodynamic temperature t is defined as reciprocal of slope of entropy s versus nrc e curve temperature is defined as the slope of entropy to nrc whereas volume and number of particles are constant that be the expression for temperature by analyzing that uh, temperature expression we can easily understood the concept of negative temperature look here as the temperature is raised as the temperature increases what happened the energy is supplied to the system obviously the particles and particles jumps from lower energy state minus epsilon to 
higher energy state plus epsilon so what happened the upper energy level plus epsilon ultimately increases so upper energy level upper energy state plus epsilon grows at t greater than 0 as temperature increases the energy of higher energy level plus epsilon ultimately increases until what be the duration of uh, that process to be occurred till we have n is equal to 0 till the change in number of particles in between these energy levels will be 0 means the number of particles in the lower energy state is equal to the number of particles in that of higher energy state and that giving rise to that giving rise to an entropy that entropy is s is equal to n k log 2 that entropy and at that of state we obtain maximum d order that is a state of maximum d order and here the temperature is equal to plus infinity look that graph here temperature plus 0 gradually temperature increases there temperature greater than 0 this one is the curve in that of curve the slope we obtain that is del s by del e which is greater than 0 at that point where t is at plus infinity so we obtain maximum d order and with that of entropy will be s n k log 2 at that of situation we obtain the entropy next as more energy is supplied to that of system if more energy is supplied to the system then the upper energy levels the upper energy levels becomes more populated than lower energy level upper energy level the number of particles n1 is greater than n2 upper energy level is more populated as comparison to that of lower energy level so the change in number of particles is greater than 0 and the entropy gradually decreases we get decrease in entropy 
decrease in entropy and as entropy decreases so the temperature temperature t less than 0 which is negative temperature which is negative temperature this is the first one negative temperature in that of graph the entropy gradually decreases t decreases at that of point we obtain negative temperature this is the concept of negative temperature so with the help of this video lecture we understand the idea of negative temperature by using the expression for entropy of two energy level system and plotting the graph between entropy and energy entropy for s y n k energy e by epsilon n we obtain a graph just like a parabola using a condition and relation between entropy and temperature and finally we show how negative temperature is achieved it's an virtual situation in real in real scenario we can't uh, relate to that of negative temperature but theoretically we show the possibility of negative temperature so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up the session thank you